Hey guys, we're back with one of these uh, aerial workshop maps. If you go into extras and workshop, uh, you can find the maps that you've subscribed to. I'll put on the screen how to uh, to subscribe to those if you're on uh, Steam on PC. Uh, but we're gonna get into Speed Jump 2 here, which is a remastered version of the original aerial map by DMC. Last time we did the Speed Jump Boost number one. I don't know why it's called number two since it was the older one, but maybe it's two because it's remastered. <laughs> I have no clue, but we'll get right into it. Um, I know he's changed quite a bit with the map. Um, I think he changed like the, the boost, I mean the, the ball locations to help with like viewing when you're going around corners and stuff like that. Do the time trials like last time, just kind of take our time, see what kind of time we get. I think the time trial is like, I don't know if you go through all the levels, might be the case. Coming in hot. Oh my gosh, I almost didn't make that. But I'm not looking to do anything too speedy. Just trying to like take my time, make sure I do everything properly. I wish that a, I hope that he uh, goes back through this this map again and like adds in those rings that like spawn boost. Cause I'd really prefer to do these maps um, with like limited boost, like last time. He might have added those arrows too, cause it kind of helps going around these corners. Sneak around the, the pillar there. Swerving. Take our time with that. Oh, I <laughs> just saw some of the levels. The pillar in our way. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what he exactly he changed. I did this map a long time ago when it was the original one. But so far, so good. It's pretty smooth. You don't get too many times where you're like looking outside the map with the polygons. Oh, that was an awkward jump. We good though. See if we can go through this thing without dying once. Pretty good. I doubt it though. I'm sure some of the later levels are gonna be a little bit difficult. Sneak underneath and then back around. <laughs> that was really inefficient. Probably used like 200 boost. Okay, down we go. I am blind by the alpha boost. <laughs> alpha boost is usually pretty good because uh, it's not too big of a, a spread on the boost. Some of the other ones like flamethrower are gigantic. I used to use flamethrower before I got this alpha boost. Through legitimate trading, <laughs> I must add. I like these like climbing levels where you go through up these little tunnels. Oh, there's a ramp there. Whoa. Okay, calm down. I'm <laughs> getting a little carried away with the speed on those ramps. It feels like when you're going off these, you're gonna go like flying upwards into a different direction. It's kind of fun. It's like a, a repeat of every <laughs> of the same location over and over again. Uh, is it underneath this thing. Oh, there's an arrow down there. I mean, I'm still <laughs> arrow up there, going down. Oh, so like that that ball down there. Like I think he added those kind of things to make it so that you can traverse these levels a little bit easier. Okay, so it looks like you're gonna have to go like up this and then through. This camera is really awkward. I think I have to turn it off for this. And come back around. I can probably turn the camera back on now. Yeah, so like a ball location in the other corner would have been probably pretty helpful for that one. I'm assuming we're going back around. Yeah, like these ball locations like that are so good. Okay, but when it turns off abruptly, it's kind of scary. What? Okay, I see. <laughs> the, uh, the outside of the map like confused me. Nice little arrows pointing to go upwards. Oof. Glad you can't uh, interfere with those arrows like they're like walls or something. Getting tougher. I'm imagining we're like in the medium level, maybe. Maybe the hard. I recognize some of these levels, though. Loop to loop. Whoa. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it didn't make it through the whole thing without dying, but <laughs> that was confusing. There we go. Gotta like follow the direction towards the ramp. That was fun. I like that level. This reminds me of one of the, uh, this level reminds me of one of those levels in the second map where you go through a bunch of those little square exits. I'm liking it so far though. It's, it's like pretty difficult, but not as difficult I think as the, uh, the previous map or the, I guess the newer map. I don't really know what to call this one now because you have the limited, the limited boost uh, on the other map. Like I said, I think if he added those little boost pads in this one, this one would be actually probably more difficult just by like the, the navigation of the levels. I like this level though, it's pretty cool. Hopefully no one's getting sick watching this. <laughs> getting a pretty good time. I mean, I don't really know how many levels there are, but like I said, I imagine I'm in like the, the medium to hard. We're only at five and a half minutes. This top of the shelf. Whoa, <laughs> the the ball like, changed right the second I swapped cameras. Yeah, I'm really liking these like big open levels that like you still have to like traverse through these little maze areas, but Oh, I almost messed up. I'm thinking my camera settings probably aren't very good for these levels either, just because of like how close they are. I'm dealing with them okay though. <laughs> Don't mind me while I blind everyone with the alpha boost. Probably should have went down first. Swoop up here. <laughs> it's like kind of cool. This reminds me of like uh, one of the underwater levels in Mario 64. That one, I don't remember what it's called, but the three levels of water. I don't know why. I guess because like the concrete walls and stuff. There's the ball. Hello ball. Oh, is this like the same? The same thing as last time? I'm so confused. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's like the exact same kind of level. Is the exit like right there? Looks like it. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, this is kind of interesting. Oh, I almost hit it. Oh, I see we go around. There we go. It's like the same kind of level. Maybe it's like probably like a, an easy, medium, hard version of that. We'll keep it going though. Whoa, don't, don't turn off ball cam. I thought there was maybe like a ball camera over here. <laughs> this is getting really disorienting. Dealing with it pretty well though. I've, I've learned that like on these maps, whenever you're confused, switching to a uh, player camera instead of ball camera is so much better. Like, like that situation where I was holding onto the ball there. That's not a good idea. I feel like going through this little snake thing is better without ball camera on. For the most part. How long does this go? Like this is a huge time waster if you lose this. Still going. Oh my goodness. I'm getting nervous. I don't want to like lose these like 40 seconds. Oh, I hate going down like this because if like you change your axis at all, you could like swap the camera around. It's really scary. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, that was so long. Oh, I was going to see if you like sneak into that little glass location there. Oh, camera. Oh, I let go of the camera. Oops. Should have done that. I think keeping ball cam off there the whole time is good. And as I say that, I'm using <laughs> using the uh, ball camera again. 
Yeah, I think just like leaving it off and doing these twists and turns are way better. Oh, I hit the wall. Come on, level. I can do this. I believe in myself. Take my time around these corners. There we go. I can't believe that of all levels. Oh, nice. 935. I can't believe that of all levels was the uh, the level I'd be stuck on. I guess that was why it was the last level. Hmm. I feel like that snake level could have been the last level, but 935 that's pretty good. Sub 10. I might uh, I might try and look up the world record for this level and see if there is one. Maybe try to beat it in another video. Hope you guys enjoyed that though. It's a nice quick video. If you guys do like the uh, the content though, please feel free to subscribe. I've got like a variety of different things I do. Hope hoping to get more funny stuff and like challenges and stuff like that. On my Discord, I've been getting people to offer me different challenges that I can do, and I might start doing those after our LCS is done. Like I said in the previous videos, we just made playoffs, uh, which means that we're top six, and if we make uh, one more win in a series, we end up going to LAN, which is in Las Vegas in a month. Actually, like literally a month from now. I think it's November 9th to 11th. So yeah, we're really focused on that right now, and then after that, it'll be a, a lot more fun getting like those quality videos out. I'll be getting more threes content out soon with some pros. I'm trying to get some comms going as well. But I'll catch you guys in the next video.